Okay, hi guys. It's question one from your homework last night. So, what I'd like to do is I do the plot before I would think about worrying about the points. And the best way to think about sine and cos is in terms of four strips. Two in, the po in positive. Okay. And then you want to think about taking those strips and breaking them up into four. Now I should be able to use four inches here nicely. And that's one of the nice things. It's nice to have that big unit of the inch on your rulers, which you all have this ruler. Okay, so so it's nice to have and mo as as generally as possible have inches and centimeters if you can. And that's just luckily something we get in the market here. It's often um, in the European countries, you, you just can't get that. Okay, so. And you probably have a grid given to you in, 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 a, in a normal situation. So this is the ordinate axis, we call it, or the y-axis. And this is something called the abscissa, or the, the x-axis. Okay, so... What happened to me marking my after did I forget to mark my inches? I only marked four. So we'll mark in one, two, and three. Now a lot of work up front, but it's worth it. Because what you have now is you know you have to go through here. Now there is another, now think about, so, so the, the values are 0 0.5 and 0 0.87. Well, 0 0.87 is pretty close. It's, it's, it's darn close to the top. Okay, so I'll just put a little guide number, a guideline, and we just need them at the extremes there for the 60 degrees. So you want to come up. So we're going every 30 degrees, and then you're up top. And then you're coming down, coming out the same amount. Notice these are, these are the same jumps forwards. Okay, and um, again about a third all the way up, another third all nearly to the top, and the final third gets you all the way down. And that's happening at negative 90. And you notice that it isn't, there isn't quite, the, the values are so well related to each other that it's not that difficult. Back a third, all the way up there, back another third. Um, up again, back the final third, all the way up, and back down through those values. Okay, so this is neg from negative 360, all the way up to zero, and all the way up along again. Okay, so I'm do I've done the second part of the question first. Let's join them up. Okay, now in terms of tabulating, it's nice then to use this to tabulate. Um, just create two tables, I'll come forward here using theta and sine of theta. And I'll keep my writing quite small in order to be able to fit things in. So, third. This is a bit tedious writing these 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300. And you can see, you co you know, there's quite an awful lot of detail there. Let me just write 330 and 360 there. Okay, so here it's going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.871. 0 0.87. Now you can look up here and you can also think about where are you in the unit circle. 
this is where you're going on the unit circle for this bit for this first bit and then you're going to swing that on to negative values here so you're still up positive but you're under what you're under you're descending now you're descending down through here okay so 0 0.87 0 0.5 0 so that's that and now we're heading into the negative negative 0.5 it's still the pattern 0 always goes to 0.5 0 never goes to 0.87 negative 0.87 negative 1 and then you have to come back up through those negatives negative 0.5 and all the way up to 0 here okay we'll give ourselves a bit more room going backwards this way and we'll actually start with naught and then negative 30 negative 60 and with the negatives you even need more space so let me say you're going to kind of get, give, give myself a full run at it here so degrees and sine of theta naught negative 30 negative 60 negative 90 or let's just say negative degrees because it's just we don't have room for it so it's going to be naught, 30, 60, 90 these are all negative negative, oh, I don't have to say that, 120, 150, 180 and so on and you just go through all those values and all you're doing is you're repeating these numbers except starting off negative because you're starting off going that way and that's because of the so-called odd nature of sine where we have that sine of theta is equal to negative the sine of negative theta okay state the period and range of the function so the period it repeats after 360 degrees so the period equals 360 degrees the range is the top value minus the bottom value which is 1 minus minus 1 which is equal to 2 so the range is 2 and the period is 360 by drawing the horizontal line y equals a half, well I've done that here, find the value of x in the domain for which sine of x equals a half. So what they're asking for is these values, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, and those values are best read straight from the graph. They're at 30, 150, 150. Now where am I here? I was already back negative 180, so negative 210, and here I'm at negative 330. Okay, and now you might say, oh, but this, you see, you don't want to associate, you know, we do associate this with a negative qu quarters, but we're gone beyond, going in the negative direction, we're gone into the negative third and negative fourth quarters. It needs to be right. Just double check that taking out the calculator and saying what's the sign of negative 210 and sure enough it's a half and you know that the other one's going to work too but let's just look at it seeing is believing sine of negative 330 okay so maths is fantastic it works every time all right so that's question one done i'll upload that and we'll get on to question two